Today we're going to break down some positive gunfighting habits that you can build in Onward VR that will improve your gameplay and your time at the range. I'm Controlled Pairs and I play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat sims in the world. This is Onward. Now, to be clear, I don't think Onward can take you from zero to hero. It's not going to make you an operator, but I do think that it is an effective tool that can help you communicate more effectively and learn some good habits in a really fun game style environment. And with that in mind, I went through about four hours of gameplay with my buddies, and I've picked out some clips that demonstrate some of these positive habits that I think you should focus on if you want to improve your play and build your unit's teamwork and cohesion. First, let's just talk about CQC, Close Quarters Combat, or CQB, Close Quarters Battle on the Whole. We've talked about it a lot in the context of games on the channel, and I frequently mention the three fundamentals of CQB, speed, surprise, and violence of action. But what we don't talk a ton about, despite the fact that I reference it all the time, is security. I am of the opinion that you can define security as preventing the enemy from exercising the element of surprise against you. In simple terms, in a CQB environment, this means making sure a gun is pointed at any position that the enemy may emerge from, and not only is the gun pointed in that direction, but the person holding the gun is prepared to use it while pointing it in that direction. Now, despite that concept being very simple, it becomes very difficult to exercise that concept when you're moving with other people in a digital environment or in a real environment or especially when you're in a player versus player environment and the enemy in Onward can hear you speak, which means you now have to go to hand and arm signals. You now have to understand how your buddy is likely to move. But what is most important is that everyone in the stack, everyone on the team knows that their role is to fill in gaps. The point man's always responsible for the 12 o'clock position or the most likely position where a threat is going to emerge from. The two men will always have his flank either left or right. The three men will always have the opposite of the two man the four man will always have rear security now i'm got to be careful to say always in cqb because there are no absolutes per se but that should at least give you a rough starting point now let's see what this stack looks like when you're moving in onward the stack moves quietly, we don't say a word, we're constantly covering each other's flank, we maintain rear security for the duration when we finally take contact, we refocus in on that contact, but we still maintain security to the rear the entire time, and then we look for a solution. Rather than going barreling through that fatal funnel and being engaged with direct fire in that fatal funnel, we prep it with a handheld and engage with our own high explosives to regain the initiative. So if speed, surprise, and violence of action are the fundamentals or the principles of CQB, let's call security the foundation. So what are some other tools that we have at our disposal to enhance that foundation? Well, one of them is communication. If the one man is never wrong and he's always pulling 12 o'clock security, he's always the one to choose which direction he's going to enter and clear a room. He's the one who's going to choose which path you're going to take across a street or where you're going to enter into an alleyway. If all of that is true, how can you inspire that number one man to continue moving with confidence. Well, one of the ways you can inspire him is by telling him that you are with him, by simply saying, I'm here. The number one man is informed by the number two man that he's got a buddy with him. He's got somebody to protect his flank and to watch his six, and together they're ready to move into the unknown against the next threat. With you. With you. With you. Yep, going left. Roger, take it. I'm with you. With you. On your right. Of course, this works great in Onward where you can talk pretty freely and you're fighting against bots. In the real world, that's frequently a tap on the shoulder or a squeeze on the arm or a squeeze on the shoulder to let the one man know the stack is ready to move. Now let's talk about something even more essential maybe than security, and that is firearm safety and muzzle awareness and understanding where the rest of your teammates are with respect to your muzzle. You have to be constantly aware of this, especially when the stakes are high, when the adrenaline is pumping, you're in your at risk of making more dangerous or risky movements on the battlefield. I think Onward is an excellent playground to exercise muzzle awareness and build those good habits. It should be impossible for your friends to get you to point your gun at them. It should be impossible. You should be so used to moving it away from them that it happens by second nature. Sorry, 
Yep, right side corner group building. He's down. Is there, I don't know, is there an ammo box up there? Crossing. Yes, yes there yep. is. Crossing. I'm trying, I'm trying to find this way? it. Jesus Christ. I got, I got left, I got left, I got left. Now let's talk about a specific technique that will enhance security. It's pretty simple. It's called a high low. A high low simply means that number one man is going to take a knee but maintain his same sector of fire. The number two man will occupy that same sector of fire but come up over the top of the number one man. It is essential that when you do this, you let the number one man know that you're there so he doesn't stand up and get shot in the back of the head. It's also essential that you are far enough forward that your barrel and your elbow and your forearm and your armpit are up over the number one man. So in a real world situation, should he try to stand up, he would be physically unable to do so. His flesh would impact your arm and the stock of your rifle rather than moving into harm's way. If you achieve a high low, you get two barrels in the same sector of fire rather than one. It's an excellent way to cover your buddy while he is changing magazines, and it's a great way to increase your probability of hitting a target when it first appears. I'm over you. I'm going low. Uh, there's another one. I'm on your high. Close low. Killed one, at least. With you. Oh no, can I not pick there we go? Back up. Fight cheers. Ah uh, yes, reloading. While we're on the subject of magazine changes, here's some tips for when you have to reload your gun. One, make sure that you have cover when you do it. You should always try to anticipate when you're gonna run out of ammunition, although that's not always feasible. So when you do finally run out, move to cover, make sure you're behind something that's gonna stop bullets, and then go ahead and reload your magazine. Next, make sure you announce to the people around you that you are in fact changing mags. This is gonna let them know that you can no longer cover your sector of fire. And if someone is close enough, and if they are able to support you, they should come over and occupy your sector and aid in pulling security in it so that that angle is still covered until you come back up. You can use whatever kind of language you like. We say hot and cold in my little group, but you know, there's a lot of other ways you can communicate with your teammates and there's no wrong way to go about it. Hypoxia, I'm with you. Cold, cold, cold. Changing mags. Need your cover. Cold. Hot. Cold. You're pushing. Cold. Hot. Cold. Left side dry. Cold. Cold. Hot. Cold. Cold. I'm back. Hot. Straight off. Got you. All right. I'm overhead. Pretty good. Reg. And when your teammates are changing magazines, make sure you go occupy their sectors and cover them until they are reloaded completely and back in the fight. And then. Where are we? That room. Oh, you came back. Reloading. Got you covered. What, Trey? I'm in. That. One of the beautiful things about virtual reality is that you can share equipment with the people around you. And Oddword does this in a really good way. So as you continue to develop the fight and as you continue to expend resources and ammunition, make sure you're communicating what you need to the people around you and practice reconsolidating, redistributing, and reorienting your supplies as needed throughout the fight. Fresh mag right here. I'm good. I'm good. Give him some. Hey, catch. Fresh mag. Appreciate it. In that Hypoxia on your right yeah. on the ground. That's a fresh man. They're coming. Huh? I'm on secondary. Yeah. I'm on secondary. Legend. And finally, back to security. Security is always the number one priority. Without security, you could be flanked and your entire element could be destroyed. This means that when you have casualties in your formation, tempted though you may be, to move to them and immediately get them back up, it's imperative that you first 
win the fight. We could talk about tactical combat casualty care for hours and hours and hours, but step one of saving your buddy's life is always winning the fight. Oh shit, close. Can someone bang or, or frag this corner, please? Frag this fucking corner. Roger. One. Oh my two. god. Thank you. Let's go. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it valuable or interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. For those of you who are already subscribed, you can support the channel in a more significant way by becoming a member of it for as little as 99 cents a month. If you guys want to know what my VR setup is, it's all linked in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Controlled Pairs, and I play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat sims in the world. This is Onward VR.